Hi friends, welcome to linuxup.com. Today we are going to see about Varnish Catchy. Varnish Catchy is commonly known as Varnish. It is an open source popular reverse proxy HTTP accelerator intended for speeding up your web servers. It is engined for exclusively utilized API endpoints and also for dynamic sites that serves a massive content and experience high traffic. Okay friends, now I am going to show you how to install Varnish Catchy on CentOS 7. First of all, we are going to install Apache Server. To install Apache Server on CentOS 7, you have to install HTTPD. The command to install HTTPD is mInstall HTTPD. Click enter. It asks for a permission. Just type Y and click enter. After installing HTTPD, we have to start the service. This is the command to start the Apache service. After start the Apache service, we are going to enable the Apache service. We can execute this command to enable the HTTP service. Now the service is enabled. After enabling the HTTP service, after that we have to add a service in firewall. This is the command to add a service in a firewall. We are going to add HTTP service. It shows successful. Adding a HTTP service is success. Now we are going to reload the firewall. We are going to reload the firewall. This is the command to reload the firewall. Now the firewall is reloaded. Now we are going to install Varnish Catchy. Before installing Varnish Catchy, we have to install ePal repository. The command to install ePal repository is minstall y ePal release. After installing a ePal repository, we have to install some dependency packages of Varnish Catch. These are all the dependency packages we have to install. After installing your dependency packages, we are going to download the Varnish package using this command. Download is complete. This is my downloaded package. This is a tar file. To exit a tar file, we have to use this command. Now the extraction is complete. Enter into that extracted directory. After enter into the directory, just list the directory. In this directory, we are going to run autogen.sh file and then configure file. This is the command to run a autogen. After that, we have to run the config file. This is the command to run the config file. After that, we are going to compile the directory using make command. After compiling, we are going to install varnish by giving the command make install. After installing, we have to give the ld config command. Now the installation is complete. To check a varnish version, we have to give varnish t hyphen capital V command. It shows the varnish version 5.1.2 is installed in our system. To configure Apache work with Varnish Catchy, you have to change the port number 82-8080. For changing the port number, you have to give this command. After that, we have to restart the HTTP service. After restarting the HTTP, we have to start the Varnish service by giving this command. Now it is started. To check Varnish Catchy on Apache by giving this command, it shows that 1.1 varnish and then varnish 5.1 is enabled with the Apache. This is about varnish catch. I hope this video will get your knowledge about varnish catch installation on CentOS 7. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe our YouTube channel Linux Help. For further tutorial, visit www.linuxhelp.com. Any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.